So, it's almost 1 a.m. right now. And, like, I got bored and watched some Monster Hunter videos. And then I remembered something that I probably haven't remembered for, what, like, a year? Monster Hunter Stories is yet another one of the catch em all games and series. But, in, but instead of making their own monsters, they decide to go with Monster Hunter. Which, uh, like, I get actually. Like, when put in the Pokemon art style, some of the Monster Hunter monsters look absolutely amazing. Well, let's see the trailer. All right, right on! So this rock diamond thing seems to be the replacement for the Pokeball. And wait a second. It's, repl it's placed to the wrist. And it's a stone. Uh, so the monsters actually look pretty cool. Wait, is that a... Velocidrome? I mean, sure, the Rathalos is tiny, but hey, maybe it's like. Well, it is a baby, because, like, apparently, from what I've heard, like, this thing actually hatches from an egg when the series begins, and there's not much of a time skip, so. Why this. Why is there fur? He's not in the cold, so he probably wouldn't need it. Oh, it's just outfit design, I guess. It is a little weird to have a, a clearly CGI Rathalos neck, like, being written by a clearly hand-drawn human character. I'm riding Ratha! Oh, so it's named Ratha. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Why is its ear on its lower jaw? What the heck? Okay, I've only played one Monster Hunter game, and not even that much of it, but... Uh, what is this? As the unborn to become your monsty. So, they're, so the monsters are named Monsties. Uh, weird choice, but okay. Chival! This monster lives in packs and is fiercely loyal to his friends. So, we have a living Pokedex. Okay. Or, should I say, Monsty Dex. <laughs> Holy crap, that is extremely game accurate. Like, by game, I don't mean Monster Hunter Stories, because obviously it's going to have the same art style as Monster Hunter Stories, because it's the anime of Monster Hunter Stories. But, like, this is basically, like, complete, like, complete, like, no, no, like, bigger head or anything, no exaggerated features, full-on main series game Tigrex. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's just take in what's going on here. Like, literally, I'm pretty sure, like, if, if Ratha folded up its wings, I'm... Like, from what it look, from how it looks, it looks like the Tigrex could swallow both Ratha and the kid alive, no bite, no teeth action, just... Jeez! That was a kinship attack! So, kinship attack, is that basically just Z-moves? Honestly, this don't, this don't look too bad. Wait, what is that? What in the world is that? I need to see this. What is that? What in the world is that? Why is his head so big? Why doesn't he literally just face plant every time he gets up on his two feet? What the heck? What what's with his eyes? Also, why is there a litten? Why is there a litten? Hey, uh, uh, game accurate and very off. That's cool. 
Seriously, what the heck were they thinking? Like, the every everyone else looks totally fine. Like even even the cheap the cheap the slightly cheapified monsters look pretty good. But what did they do to the felines? Okay, you know what? I'll even show you something that's, in my opinion, way better. Okay, so you see this. Okay, yes, I know where you're looking. Stop being a pervert. But look at this. This is a feline in this, like, trailer that's not even for an anime. It's advertising a mobile game, apparently. And let me tell you, this... This, like, trailer is kind of disappointing because really, nothing that makes Monster Hunter, like, really what it is is here. All of that, all that's here, fan service. Okay, like, just pause. This is, uh, why? Like, ignoring the whole fan service part, like, the chest is where the heart is. Like, a monster could easily get a good hit and probably kill this, like, person. I was about to say waifu, but no. Ooh, finally a monster. It's literally, like, it's literally, like, the final 30 seconds of the trailer, but okay. What in the world? Why is this Rathalos so big? I mean, sure, don't get me wrong, the Rathalos is huge. By the way, actually, the size proportion on Monster Hunter Stories is actually pretty accurate, judging by this poster. But, Rathalos is kind of far away from the camera, so... Like, far away... F or farther than the person, so... But anyways, we can, we can confirm that Rathalos is huge. But this... This... Like, no matter how small those houses are, they have to, they have to, like, at least have two stories, because, look at this. So, that, this Rathalos? This is a kaiju. Why is there a kaiju Rathalos? Okay, I'm kind of getting on topic, topic, but the point, I, the reason I went here to this trailer is the felines are way better. Look at look at this thing again. Just 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 look at it. I'm pretty sure that's not in Monster Hunter. And you know what's disappointing? Every other feline in this picture is fine. But then there's just this big football headed not not even football like that is kind of football, though. But, like, b ball headed, like, head three times the width of its body, saber tooth tiger fangs on the side of his mouth. And then look at all the other ones. And this one. Way better. But seriously, why is there a litten? To end off this video, like, I, like, I used to absolutely love this, this series back when I first heard about it, like, a year ago. But now I have, like, I've grown. Like, I mean, I still, like, hate Yokai Watch to the bottom of my soul. Like, why, why did they make, like, horror movie tier creatures just, like, Pokemon ripoffs? But anyways, my favorite iceborne creature so far is actually the wolg. It's like a badger thing. Like at first, I thought this was this thing was like a beaver badger thing. But now that I'm looking at it, it's just a badger. It's just a big big badger, but I still like it.